Time out. Hey, welcome to Time Out. I am Tom. Before we get into things, very important question this week. Should a salad come with or without meat? I'm going to post a poll on Twitter. Please respond. We need to know. Salad. Salad lover. Salad shooter. Speaking of salad shooters, there was not a salad shooter at the Ponca Oakland Craig game on Friday, but Ponca shot its way to a 4 0 record with a 28 20 victory over the Knights. Now, we talked about Oakland Craig earlier in the season, how they had a big win over Battle Creek, followed that up with a big win over Crofton. Well, here Ponca, a team that played 3 and 6 last year, but returned a lot of talent. They're 4 0 now, and they could be considered one of the favorites in Class C, too, because of this win. Uh, entering the fourth quarter, they're actually trailing 20 to 14. A 20 yard touchdown pass from Logan Kingsbury to Dalton Tremaine tied it up, and then uh, Kingsbury scored from five yards out with three and a half minutes to go to lift Ponca to the win. It's not going to get easier, though, for the Indians. They are at Crofton, at Battle Creek, at Lutheran High Northeast, and home against Hardington CC yet this season. All of those teams have one loss or fewer. And one of those teams, Lutheran High Northeast, just picked up its first loss. You don't really pick up a loss. It's not like, I'm going to go to the store and get a loss. You don't want to lose. That's what I'm trying to say. They, they lost to Lincoln Lutheran. A home contest for the Eagles. Now, Lincoln Lutheran had lost the previous week to Lincoln Christian. Lost their quarterback in that game. So you bring in a wide receiver as your backup quarterback, and he just throws for four touchdowns, runs for three more. I don't think Lutheran High necessarily knew what hit him when you have a backup quarterback coming up and doing this. He passed for 344 yards against a defense that coming into that game, the first team defense for Lutheran High had not allowed a single point. Now the Eagles offense was still very effective, scoring 40 points with Jackson Camp throwing for 232 yards and Carell, Carell Colmus rushing for 92 yards. But like Ponca, the Eagles are going to have a lot of work to do because the schedule doesn't get any easier starting this week with a trip to Stanton. that will be a must-win game for the Mustangs if they want to make the playoffs after a loss to Logan View. Now another local team that has a lot of big games ahead, including this week, this Thursday when they host Pierce is Norfolk Catholic. The Knights got a big win on Friday at Boone Central, Newman Grove. They had six plays of 30 yards or more that got them into the end zone in this win, including runs of 51 and 68 yards by Dylan Couts and Kelby Schaefer opened up the scoring second play of the game for Norfolk Catholic, a 66 yard touchdown run, got him on the board, got him confident. And then when Boone Central Newman Grove was making, looking like they might turn it into a contest late, Kelby Schaefer said, nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 goodbye. Not quite. It wasn't quite over, but an 80 yard fumble return for a touchdown. Kelby Schaefer is a fast fullback and he's a very vocal leader. He's fun to listen to on the field. Yeah, that's Kelby Schaefer welcoming Dylan Couts into the end zone after a five yard touchdown run. Norfolk Catholic, like Lutheran High Northeast, like Ponca, they're in a very tough district in the Class C15 district. They have Pierce this week. Later on at the end of the season, they're at Wayne at West Point Beamer. Not to mention their early non district schedule they played. Jeff Beller is exhausted. Man, I'm wore out and we haven't even went into <laughs> districts yet. But uh, yeah, you know, you never know. Every coach you talk to, and you guys, I'm sure you hear it, their schedule is the best schedule in the state. And I don't know how you know that for sure, but we have played good quality teams. I look at our teams and uh, uh, coming into tonight, I think all three of the teams we beat were two and one. Yeah. So uh, I, I think they're pretty good football teams. And again, I guess that'll play out as the year goes on. A coach that's not really exhausted is Gene Soar in Creighton. The Bulldogs moved to three and zero with a 50 to 37 win over West Holt. West Hold was actually the first team to put points on the board against Creighton. They had outscored their first two opponents by an average of 84 to nothing. So West Hold has got to be confident after playing such a tough game against the area's top team in Class D. There's a lot of big games this week. Ainsworth at Clearwater Orchard is a D1 game. Uh, Columbus Lakeview at Boone Central Newman Grove. Boone Central Newman Grove really wants to rebound and beat the Vikings. I want to beat the Vikings too because I'm a Bears fan, not the Lakeview Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings. Ponca doesn't play the Vikings. Ponca is at Crofton this week. Battle Creek at Hardington Cedar Catholic, Pierce at Norfolk Catholic, like I mentioned, Lutheran High Northeast at Stan, and a big one in Class D2. Allen is quietly undefeated. They'll travel to Why Not. Why not check us out next week? Because we'll be back. I'm Tom Beamer. This has been Time Out. You can't see Katherine Harris, but sometimes I make her mad and shout. Hey! Boo!